Good morning. I think it's live. I never can tell from the wheels turning. Uh, just a couple of minutes now before we're going to start. This is going to be stretch and flex. I'm sure it's live now. Anyway, uh, something has changed with the camera and it's for a good thing. You can actually see more of my feet now. So that's a good thing. I just wish I knew what I don't have a clue what happened. But anyway, um, welcome. Uh, if you would please, if you're joining me live, uh, it would be very helpful if you could just uh, either send a little quick comment saying hi, or hit the like button, or hit the heart button. Uh, that just helps me a little bit better know how many people I'm actually reaching live. So thank you. I'm going to go turn on the music and we're going to get started. And today we're going to be doing what are called dynamic stretches, which means we're going to be moving the whole time through the full range of motion. So you keep trying to go a little deeper each time. So we'll start out with a nice deep breath in and exhale. And another nice deep breath and exhale. Big circles with those shoulders all the way around. And another nice deep breath. And as you exhale, just soften your knees, bring your hands down on top of your knees. Now round your upper back up and then come to neutral. Then arch your lower back, lift your tailbone in the back and your head and shoulders in the front. So then round that upper back and then arch the upper lower back. And up, this is called a cat. The other one's called a cow. Do a couple more. Round it up. And the cow. And the cat and the cow and come back up roll those shoulders and take a nice deep breath in and then reach higher with that right hand and then the left and the right and the left Continue doing this unless you have a really good spine, in which case you can just lean over to the right, left, and then the right. So we don't do the side bend if you have issues in your lower back. But if you don't, feel free to do this. And come back up, big circles with those shoulders. And then bring your feet about hip distance apart. Soften those knees. And just take your hips side to side. And stop in the middle. Now tilt your pelvis under and release it and tilt it under and release, tilt and release and tilt and release. Now soften those knees, circle the hips all the way around. And then circle the other way. And 
and sticking your glutes back, put one hand on each leg. Just sit down on that little stool, weight on your heels, and slowly come up, come up onto your toes. Most of the weight's on your big toe. And down and sit. And come up onto your toes. And down and sit. And up onto your toes. And down, weight on your heels. Sit. And up and onto your toes. And down. One more nice deep breath. And exhale. Circle those shoulders. And now we're going to do some balance. So I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see how this works. I would like for you to bring your right foot forward. You're on your toe with the left foot back behind you. Soften that front knee. Bring those arms up. Now you may stay here. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you're going to push off that back foot. And I've got to scoot back a little bit. And then if you wish, you can start hinging from the hips and coming down towards the T. Keep that right knee soft. Don't block it. Abs are in tightly. And you're breathing. And slowly come back up. And bring those arms down. Ah, circle those shoulders. And we'll do the other side. So now I want you to bring the left foot forward. The right foot's back. Your front knee's soft. You're up on your toe in the back. Lift those arms up. Pull in those abs. Optional, if you want to push onto that front foot. And then if you want to hinge from the hip and come down into your team, that's fine. Breathe. Now coming back up and bring it down. And circle those shoulders. All right. Now, we're going to start with some of our stretches. Feet are about hip distance apart. Your knees are soft. I want you to pretend like you've got a beach ball in front of you. I want you to squeeze that beach ball. And then open up those arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Take your arms back. Now, exhale and squeeze that ball. And inhale, open it up. And exhale, squeeze the ball a little tighter. And open it up. And exhale, squeeze. The ball's getting smaller. It's about a basketball now. And open it up. And squeeze. And open. And squeeze, it's more like a tennis ball now. And open, you're trying to go a little further each time. And squeeze. And open. Ah, big circle with those shoulders. Got to get my notes to where I can see them. All right. Now, keeping the feet about hip distance apart, we're going to work on the sides of our body, our obliques. So, you're going to take your right arm out to the side, palm up. You're going to reach up. Now, you're either just going to reach higher if you have issues in your spine. If you don't have issues in your spine, you may lean over to the side. And then you're going to bring it back. 
Each time you're going to try to go a little further. So exhale up, either reach higher or reach over. And bring it back. Ah, exhale, higher or over. And inhale back. And up and over and back. Reach up, over and back. Up and over and back. Just do a couple more. Up and over and back. And up, reach higher or over and back. Ah, big circle with that shoulder. And let's change arms. So now with the left arm out, palm up, reach up, either reach higher or you may reach over and bring it back. Exhale as you come up and over. Inhale as you go back. Exhale up and over. And inhale back. Exhale up and over. And back. Up, over. And back. Up and over. back. Let's do two more. Up, over, and back. One last time. Really reach up and over, and back, and roll that shoulder. All right. Now, I would like to try to stretch our quads and your hip flexors right here in the front. So, you're gonna start out by bringing your right foot forward, your left foot's back behind you and you're up on your toe. Soften both knees. Now, I'm gonna turn the other way, I think this would work better. We're trying to get this leg that's in the back. So. I want you to bend the knees, push forward with this hip or tilt your pelvis so you feel it down the front of your left leg and then release it. Bend the knees, push it forward or tilt your pelvis and release. Bend and tilt. If you don't feel it, try bending the knees further and release, bend and tilt, and release, bend, tilt, and release, bend and tilt, and release, Bend, tilt, and release. One more time. Bend and tilt, and release. Shake it off. And let's go to the other side. So now your left foot is forward, your right foot is way back up on your toe. Soften both knees. Think about the front of your right hip. I want you to tilt your pelvis or push it forward 
and release. So bend, squeeze, and tilt. And release. Bend, squeeze, tilt. And release. Are your abs still in? Bend, squeeze, tilt. And release. Tilt. And release. He answered all questions as yes. Bend and tilt. And release. Tilt. And release. Let's do a couple more. Bend and tilt. And release. Bend and tilt. And release. Shake it off. Okay. Now we're going to work on our shoulders. Now, you're going to start with your right arm out to the side, shoulder height. The thumb is facing the floor. Knees are soft, abs are in, heart's lifted, and shoulders are relaxed. Now you're just going to pull this arm across in front of you. Now don't turn your body. You're just moving your arm. Then you turn the thumb up. And you take it back. So exhale, turn the thumb down, pull it across. And inhale, thumb up and bring it back. Now don't get in a big hurry, take your time. It's like you're in a vat full of molasses and you're pulling that arm through. Thumb up and back. Thumb down and across. You're trying to go a little further each time without turning your body. Up and back. Down and across. Thumb up and back. Down and across. Up and back. Down and cross. Up and back. And the last time, down and across. And up and back. And then bring that arm down, circle that shoulder. And it's time to do the left arm. So remember, you start with the thumb down. Relax the shoulders, abs are still in. Pull the arm across. Turn the thumb up and take it back. Exhale as you pull it across. And inhale as you take it back. Or if you'd rather, you may inhale when you take it across. And exhale when you take it back. I don't care. Just be sure you're doing both. And across. And back, across, and back, across, try to go a little further, and back, two more, across, back and across and back and bring
bring that arm down, circle that shoulder. Then I'd like for you to go down onto the floor. I'm going to move the camera so that you can see a little better on the floor. Grab a drink of water. Oh. All right. Now, I'd like for you, if you would, please lie down on your back. And then we're going to pull our knees up into tabletop. Arms are out to the side, palms down. Ah, shoulders are relaxed. Now, the easiest version of this, you're going to take your left leg over to the side as far as you can go without the right shoulder coming up. Then you're going to take your right leg over to join it. Keep the right shoulder down. Then you're going to bring the right leg back up and the left leg up. Then you're going to take the right leg over to the right. Left one joins it. Keep the left shoulder on the floor. Bring the left leg up and the right leg up. Now you may continue to do it that way, or if you want a little more challenge, you lower the legs together. So you squeeze them together, lower them over to the left. Do not let the right shoulder come up. Slowly bring them back up, pulling those abs. And then slowly lower them over to the right. Keep the left shoulder on the floor. and bring them up and go to the left and bring them up you should be looking up towards the ceiling take them over to the right keep the left shoulder down and bring them up pulling those abs Take them to the left and bring them up and to the right and up and to the left and up. Right and up. A couple more times each way. Go left and up to the right and up. Last time to the left. And up. And to the right. And up. Ah, grab hold of those shins or behind your knees. Just pull those knees to your shoulders. Rock just a little bit. Relax that back. Then you may either roll to your side or you may rock and come up into a seated position facing the front. All right, now we're going to work on our adductors, the inside thigh. So I'd like for you to take your right leg out to the side on the diagonal. And I'll scoot the wrong way. No, I didn't. How about that? Flex your foot. I don't care where you put your left leg. For me, I like to bring it in here in front, but if that's not comfortable, you can take it out front or you can actually take it out on the other diagonal or anywhere in between. Now, important things. Keep the right toe 
right foot flex, toes facing the ceiling. Don't roll it in or out. They're straight up and down. You're sitting up straight. Both sit bones are on the floor. You're gonna lead with your chest, keeping your back flat. And you're gonna come straight forward till you can feel the stretch in the inner thigh of the right leg. And then you're gonna come back up. Remember to keep both of those sit bones on the floor. Abs are in tightly, come forward. And up. And forward. And up. Trying to go a little further forward each time. Exhale as you come forward. Relax those shoulders. And up. And forward. And up. Come forward. And up. Let's do two more. Forward. Are your abs still in tightly? Of course. And up. And forward. And up. Ah, roll those shoulders. And we're going to change sides. So now you have your left leg out. Again, your right leg can be in, it can be out front, it can be out wherever is most comfortable for you. Your left toes are flexed, they're facing the ceiling, both sit bones are on the floor. Nice deep breath. Exhale as you bring the chest forward. And up. And come forward. And up. Remember, you're trying to come a little further each time. And forward. And up. Forward. And up. Come forward. And up. Forward. And up. Let's do two more. Come forward. And up. And forward. And up. Ah, roll those shoulders. All right. Now we're going to try to get to the hamstrings, the back of our legs here between your knee and your hip. I'm going to sit on the diagonal so you can see. I want you to just grasp behind your right knee, sitting up really tall. It doesn't matter. You don't have to lift it way off the floor. It's just to help give you a little support. Your back is nice and tall. Your abs are in. You're just going to straighten that right leg and bend. Now, if you didn't feel it in your hamstrings, you try to pull the leg a little higher and straighten. And bend. Keep pulling it towards your right shoulder until you can feel it in the back of your leg when you straighten the leg. And straighten. And 
bend. Straighten. And bend. Try to get the leg as straight as you can. Straighten. Keep that back nice and tall. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. And now we get to do the other side. So now grasp behind that left knee. Remember, you're sitting up real tall. You may be leaning back a little bit, but I want your back nice and tall. Here we go. So straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. Pull it closer to your shoulder if you need to. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Straighten, your abs are still tight. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Still a couple more. Straighten. And bend. Straighten. And bend. Ah. Move around a little bit. Might be a good time to grab another drink of water. All right. Now I'm going to try to get to the outside of your hips and into your hip. So I'd like for you to straighten your left leg out on the floor. I'll turn a little bit of a diagonal here. You're going to take your right leg. Now, the easiest version is just going to be to turn the knee out to the side with your foot up against your ankle, or you can cross your ankles, or you can bring the knee up above your ankle. Now, we're trying to get to your right hip. So you're going to sit up nice and tall, lead with your chest, come straight forward, bringing your chest down towards your ankle. You should feel it in the hip and come back up. Now, if you don't feel it in your right hip, then you bend this left knee a little bit. And you bring the chest forward and bring it up. So the chest comes forward and you bring it up and forward. And up, forward, and up. So you're feeling this in the right hip, forward, and up. That's assuming the right leg's on top. Forward, and up. Let's do two more. Forward, and up, and forward, and up, ah, wiggle, and we're going to change legs. So, once again, your right leg is straight, the foot is flexed, you're going to take your left foot, you can either put the ankle the foot inside your ankle and take the knee out to the side. You can cross your ankles. You can bring it to right below your knee or right above your knee. Sit up nice and tall. Here we go. Bring that chest forward. And up. You should be feeling this now in your left hip. Forward. And up. Remember, if you need more, you start bending that right leg forward 
and up, forward, and up, forward, and up, forward, and up, couple more, forward, and up, and forward, and up, ah, okay, wiggle a little bit, and then I'd like for you please to lie down on your stomach, so, we're going to come all the way down. Your toes are pointed. The tops of your feet are on the floor. Your pelvis is on the floor. Your hands are underneath your shoulders. Your nose is, a, your nose is about a half an inch off the mat. Your elbows are glued to your rib cage. Now, all you're going to do, this is for your abdominals. You're going to push on your hands. You're going to lift your upper body up so you can feel a stretch in your abdominals. And then bring it back down. Now, it's very important you keep your pelvis on the floor. We're not doing this. That's a push-up. I don't want to do that. So keep the pelvis on the floor and lift up. And come down. Exhale as you come up, and inhale down. Exhale up, and inhale down. Exhale up, and down. Up and down. Up and down. Two more. Up and down. Up. And down. Now, for this next one, we're going to be on our hands and knees. If this is not comfortable for you, then you're going to sit forward. You're going to take your legs as far apart as you can. You're going to grab behind your knees. We're going to do the cat and cow. So you'll round the back back. And then you'll come up. And then you'll arch and lead your chest forward. You're on your hands and knees, hands are under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips. Let's round that upper back up like the hair standing up on the back of the cat. And come to neutral. Now arch your lower back, lift your head and shoulders. And go back into that cat. And down and into the cow. And the cat. And the cow. Cat. And cow. Cat. And cow. Do a couple more. Cat. And cat. And cat. And cat. And back to neutral. Then let's sit down facing the front. Now, I don't care where you put your legs. You put them wherever you're comfortable. 
What I do care about is that you're sitting on both sit bones, you're sitting up nice and tall, your shoulders are down and back and your chest is lifted. We're gonna work on our neck. So relax those shoulders. Just slowly turn your head, look over your right shoulder. And back to the front. And turn and look left. And front. Turn to the right. And front. And the left. And front. Right. Front. Left. And front. Right. And front. Left. And front. Right. Front, left, front, one more time each way, right, and front, and left, and front, still sitting up nice and tall. I want you to put two fingers right here on your chin and your hands on your chest. Now, I don't want you to move your arm, but I want you to pull your chin back away from your fingers and then relax. So we're pulling back and relax. Pull it back and relax. You can keep your hand up or take it down. I just wanted you to get the feeling. And relax, pull it back, and relax, back, and relax, back, and relax, a couple more, back, and relax, and bend, and relax, roll those shoulders. And then if you would, bring the feet out front. Let's grab behind the right leg again. Remember how we keep our back nice and tall. Just lift it up enough that your foot comes off the floor. We're gonna point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Point and flex. Draw a circle moving in the ankle. And then circle the other direction. Ah, then let's change legs. Remember the back's nice and tall. Here we go. We're going to point and flex. Point and flex. Point. And flex, point, and flex. Draw that circle moving in the ankle. And go the other direction. I put it down. All right, now I'd like for you to sit on your left hip. Your feet are over to the right. Your left hand is on the floor here for support. Your right hand is palm up. You're gonna take a nice deep breath 
and exhale, lift up and over. Then come back up, hand pointed towards the ceiling. I want you to twist your body, look up towards your hand, and then look down towards the floor. Reach up and bring it down. Bring the arm up and over. And up, this time touch behind your neck. Turn and look up. Turn and look down. Back to the front, reach up and bring it down. Up and over. Up to the ceiling, touch behind your neck, turn and look up. Turn and look down. Back to the front, reach up and down. One more time, up and over. Up to the ceiling, behind the neck, turn and look up. Turn and look down. Back to the front and down. Let's go to the other hip. I'm running over by a couple of minutes, sorry about that. Palm up, reach up and over. Up towards the ceiling, touch behind your neck, turn and look up, turn and look down. Back to the front, up and bring it up and over. Up to the ceiling, touch behind your neck, turn and look up, turn and look down. Back to the front, up and bring it down. up and over up to the ceiling touch behind your neck turn and look up turn and look down back to the front and down one more time up and over up touch behind your neck turn and look up turn and look down Back to the front, up, and bring it down. And sitting up nice and tall, roll those shoulders, big circles. And this time around, put those shoulder blades back there in your hip pockets. Hearts lifted, abs in, and smile till you go to bed tonight. Thanks for joining me. We'll be back here Monday, 10 o'clock for Wi-Fi. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.